I'm Stuart Bloor. We've had a very cold overnight. In fact, very frosty this morning. I'm out fishing though. The brook that I'm on, and I'll tell you about that in a moment or two, the colour is not inspiring. I've done a number of sessions on this particular venue now in the last year or so, and from experience, I know that this isn't the best time to be on here. But whether it's the weather, as in the frost or the colour of the water this morning. I'm a great believer that as long as you're baiting the water, you know what, you've got a chance. While I'm waiting for my first bite of the day, let me tell you about this particular venue. It's not a recognised fishing place. In fact, the majority of anglers, if they knew that I was even on here, never mind catching stuff out of the venue that I'm on, they would be very surprised indeed. How did I start to fish it? Well, quite simply, just getting some leg work in, having a little explore, coming across a very, very shallow brook indeed, and thinking to myself, there's nothing in here at all. As far as the shallows are concerned, you can actually see the bottom in normal conditions right the way across. But then, as always, there are bends and that's where you get the deeper water. So, what did I do? I just came and gave it a go. I could have blanked, I could have had nothing at all, <clears throat> and that wouldn't have surprised me. But, on those bends, I started to catch fish. And since I've been coming back, I've had some excellent roach. In fact, that's the main species on here. And I've had a fish to just under two pound, which I think in all the years that I've been fishing, that remains as one of the best fish that I've ever caught in terms of surprises. Also had some nice perch, gudgeon, and I love the mini species, bullheads and sticklebacks. So it's my little water that I pay a visit to every now and then. It's not exactly on my doorstep. I do have to travel. So what I do is because you can exhaust these type of venues, the swim that I'm in now, catch a few fish, it goes dead. So what I do is I will combine it with a visit somewhere else. So I might come here and then on the way back home, drop on the canal or a pool or another river and have a little dabble on there. It's all about making the most of every opportunity. I've moved, I'm round the bend. Well, I've gone a couple upstream to be precise. Second cast in, I had a little tap. I had a few in the first swim that I was fishing, but nothing developed at all. These conditions, as I mentioned, the color of the water in particular has put the fish off their food. But I'm hopeful because that was a, a definite tap that I had there that looked like it would develop. Anyway, I've recast and hopefully next time you see me, I'll be playing a fish, landing a fish, showing a fish, whatever it may be, I'm sure it'll be a fish on the screen. And here we go, as I predicted, a very lively one. It's not the biggest roach I've ever caught, but <laughs> Under the circumstances have been a, a tough day, certainly very, very welcome indeed. My short session comes to an end. I have caught nothing big this time round, but do you know what? I've really enjoyed the challenge and above all, I've enjoyed being out here. And that is what angling is all about.